90% of global trade is carried by sea. Shipping also responsible for airborne oxide of nitrogen bringing smog and respiratory disease and sulfur dioxide causing acid rains. It is also responsible for ozone depleting gases contributing for increasing rate to skin cancer. Emissions are already limited by MARPOM regulation in the global fight against pollution and climate change. And IMO is reducing the impact of shipping industries on the quality of air that we breathe. On the 1st of January 2020, the IMO introduced the new global limits of 0.5% fuels from 3.5% sulfur unless the exhaust gas cleaning system is fitted, most commonly known as a scrubber. It has been estimated that 10% of sulfur dioxide emissions come from international shipping. Working alongside with ship operator, the International Maritime Organization IMO has introduced a mandatory requirement to reduce greenhouse emissions by using exhaust gas control system or scrubber system. The scrubber system can be used to remove particles and neutralize gaseous impurities from combustion excess gases, especially acid gases. The following are the location of the main equipment for scrubber system. The scrubber tower are located in the panel site. Sea chest and process pump, normally located in your room, low flooring. During the scrubber operation, Marine Road Preventive System MGPS is in operation to protect scrubber piping and equipment from marine road. During the installation, Take note of the direction of the differential pressure type plometer for inlet and for the distribution. Take note of the following. The flow direction of the strainer. Suction and delivery side of process pump and rotation of motor. Flow direction of water check valve. Liners for process pump must be welded after adjustment of pump and pipes. For process pump and strainer, apply high tensile stud bolts and double nuts. For adjustable pipes, weld and apply coating after adjustment on site. During scrubber operation, sampling for seawater is pumped by water monitoring pump unit to water monitoring cabinet. It will measure pH, turbidity, pH, and temperature of seawater. Suction of seawater is from new seas. It will flow to strainer to process pump to water check valve. And it goes to scrubber tower. Then the seawater is pumped to scrubber tower. During the scrubbing process, sulfur oxide or SOX and harmful gases are neutralized and mixed with seawater, clean exhaust gas passes through the exhaust gas duct to the atmosphere. Cleaning of exhaust gas is measured using the Continuous Emission Monitoring System SAMS, and must be in compliance with IMO and ECA requirement.
during the installation of scrubber, be sure to read the maker's manual and maker standard. Scrubber tower must be have proper foundations to minimize vibration during operation. If none, install additional support. Excess gas pipes, temperature, transmitter must be insulated as per maker standard and shipyard standard. In order to prevent vibration and damage on the expansion joint, apply pipe support as per maker's recommendation. For instrument panel, to be mounted just below highest tower inlet pipe as per maker's recommendations. After cleaning excess gas with seawater, it will drain to overboard. Be careful with grip pipes installation. Be sure that clamping pipes with lining are installed to prevent vibration and damage. In order to prevent damage on overboard distance piece, Pipe nixes check, proper welding check, color check, and special painting check must be implemented. Overboard discharge seawater is continuously monitored by Water Monitoring Unit (WMU). It must be in compliance with United States Coast Guard USCG requirement at pH 6. In summary, MGPS treated seawater are pumped from new sea chests. Dirt on seawater will be trapped on strainer to protect your process pump. It will flow to scrubber tower to clean the excess gas. Mix seawater and socks from excess gas will be drained to overboard. Excess gas cleaning system, EGCS, will continue pumping, cleaning, and discharge mixed seawater and socks from excess gas. Special thanks to Alfonso Jaime. Kindly check his YouTube channel for more educational content. Thanks for watching. Please like our video and don't forget to subscribe to keep you notified to our latest videos. Kindly comments, hashtag, and subscribe, and I will also check your channel.